if if I go like this in my legs, and you see I'm using my knees to make the movement, but if I go like this, I'm opening my pelvic diaphragm, and now I'm bringing it together. Another way might be I kind of do something here. So the first thing is not to do it here, because if you're holding in your belly, forget it. You, you, you just can't do it, because you've locked yourself in this area. So one of the key things is to let this all go out so that the integration can be organic. I don't know if you can see. It's not this which is going to lock, but it's, I'm feeling the, from my pelvic diaphragm, I am simply, <coughs> lifting from this perineal body so that if I'm here, and here I'm lowering it, I'm not, I have to be careful because I'll hurt myself, I'm not letting it go. I kind of have to open my awareness more because I let go of my support. Now I'm going to have to really, and having taught dance many years, you, can, you see the person who's, especially if you're doing adult classes or even little girls, little boys before they learn to do this. Um, how to get this action here, 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 instead of up here or down below. <clears throat> and then I've also seen where people have talked about meditating in terms of sitting meditation, which every minute is a, every moment is a meditation. That people talk about closing off the anus. You're going to really get tight assed. It's, uh, where we, we will look at how the anus is involved, but for now, just don't tighten anything directly here, but begin to feel even where you're sitting. So I'm sitting here. Let it go, and you feel that you're kind of heavy, like you've got a wet diaper. <laughs> and then do all kinds of things to see how you could do something here. And then, very pinpointedly, where your two sit bones are coming together, and your pubis, and your tail, but also you have the diagonals. This is not just a, cro a cross here. It's an incredible uh, dome that you find something that's just small. It doesn't go up to here. It just is a little small something, and you kind of pump it. And check first that you've really let go here, because I'll tell you, the, the degree that you're holding here, you can do something down there, but you're not going to get the organic integration. And you may end up with a urogenital problem. And that was a clue for me in the 60s, working with dancers in New York, was that the more professional and skilled the dancer, and there were not a lot of skilled yoga people in those days, excuse me, uh, the more the urogenital problems were emerging from all of this tightening of the belly. Now I see it with yoga. <laughs> um, so just see if you can really let go and see that as you find something, you see my hands, I don't know if you can see in the back, my hands are moving because it's integrating me automatically here. It's also toning my legs coming in so that I could easily come up where if I go like this, so you find it and then that little bit of movement, not a big movement, just a little bit of movement, will lift you, but keep, keep doing as much as you can to let this go. So you're going to go release your belly, but find something underneath that, if you, if you don't have your legs crossed all the way. Does it feel as if your sits bones are coming closer? Yes, it's very much about bringing all of these together, thank you. If you go like this, it's not 
about it. Uh, it doesn't mean you didn't find it at all, but this is just, this is shifting my weight forward. This is I'm coming up. So let this go. Shift your weight forward and feel what it's like to lean forward to come up. And then something's going right up with your center and lowering you. And it doesn't matter. In other words, the coming up isn't the asana. The asana is the, just finding that you're going up and down. So here, I'm not going like up and collapse down. I, I don't want to bang anything. So even though I'm going down, I have a lift. Yeah. But I'm not lifting up here. It doesn't mean this isn't working. This will engage above and below. <coughs> So as you find this little, mm, maybe you won't even move it, or put your hands here, and just, or put your hands here, and just do a little bit. Yeah, that's it. So don't come up all the way. Once we do more, you'll be able to come up more easily. That's the initiation. Does anyone have a comment? Yeah. Bonnie, your gestures were showing like when you did the second position plie. Uh, um, yeah, to go down, uh -huh. you're going to widen. To go, there's a widening, there's a radiating from the perineal body. And then as we rise, there's a, yeah. a gathering. A yeah, and, and so as I'm coming up, as I'm going down, and this is for all the diaphragms, it's not a... It's this, and then it's that. There's a still coming together as you're wide, but you're still widening. So don't try to come up so much. I realize that wasn't a good, I, I wasn't necessarily a good thing because now I'm seeing the, the coming up. Just find that you release your belly, because ultimately you're going to be able to come up. There's a difference between arching your back by shortening your erector spinae muscles than by just letting your belly go. Play with the difference between actively arching and then don't, don't do that. And really letting this go. Trust me on that. This is the hardest part. It really is. Because you want to let your organs go and you want to let your muscles go, your organ muscles and your, especially the, you know, there's the lift, we've been taught to lift the sternum and the chest and lift the pubis and let it go. So there's the arch, there is an arch. Now, let's see, it's this. This is getting integrated. This, I don't have any tension. I mean, it's, I'm not pulling it. 